Hey, good morning. It's been so long since I've seen any of you. I thought I would take some time this morning to share a cup of morning coffee and a little bit of chat. We've had a really interesting week so far. Our server at work uh, died, and so while that's being worked out, I'm just grabbing some free Wi-Fi from Wilkes-Barre Public Square, courtesy of Frontier Communications. It means I have a little bit of extra time because I'm not able to access my work email or any of my documents on, on the drive. So I've uh, cleaned my office considerably this week. I filed a lot of papers. I think that I still have a way to go with some of the things back here, but I'll, I'll get to that. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what my day is going to be like. I'm going to be heading over to Wilkes University uh, at 12 o'clock to be speaking to students on social media for students. How students can utilize social media to their advantage to really uh, get a leg up on their career while they're still in school. And this is really important and any student that takes advantage of this really, really has an advantage of all, over all the other students, uh, of course, who will someday be candidates uh, for their first entry level job in the career of their choice out of college. So things like a blog, uh, using a LinkedIn profile while you're in college, and Facebook, Twitter activities, how they can all be tied together, as well as video and online um, portfolios of your work. There are all different kinds of ways that students can start to build relationships with professionals in the careers that they aspire to, um, even gain online mentors from anywhere in the world, and start to network with people who will be their peers, asking questions and, and providing answers, doing research, crowdsourcing information for work that they're doing in school. It can really create some impressive, uh, some impressive work built out of ways that they can utilize uh, Web 2.0 technology if they're creative and a little bit analytical and, and put some of those critical thinking skills into place uh, using technology integrated with the work that they're doing in school. So that's what we're going to talk about today. You know, it's what could be better than creating a whole army of people across the country or in a region that will be there with you throughout your college career, be your mentor, be your peer, help you answer questions that you may have, help you gather information for your research. Uh, and it's all possible today uh, using these types of tools. So students that are, are not very engaged currently in the use of social media except perhaps for that Facebook fan page that they're on for their school or their personal profile where they keep up with their friends and family and post photos and, and status updates, um, you know, that's really a very personal use and that's great, but there's also that uh, that student use or that semi-professional use uh, geared toward professional use of social media that can be very helpful. So when you're out there and you have people that are following your college career and then you get to your senior year and they know it's time for job search because you're blogging about that and you're, you're talking about now it's time to start to look at companies that you want to apply to and they're out there and, and they're networked in those companies, of course they're going to help you because you've made friends with them and they've followed you and you've followed them back and you've created a dialogue. Uh, there may be certain instances where they can even uh, provide you some type of a recommendation if you've helped them out voluntarily with some type of uh, work or you've done internships and it could be virtual internships. And all of these types of connections, of course, are made through social networking. So I advocate uh, very early on in your college life getting involved in a professional way with social media and social networking. Not that you shouldn't uh, let your sh personality shine through because certainly, certainly you should. Uh, just ensure that you are keeping tabs on on what your content looks like and put yourself in a CEO's shoes or a manager's shoes and say, you know, is this person that I would want to hire? And so conduct your online activity accordingly, uh, knowing that it's going to follow you throughout your career. And don't be afraid of it. Uh, be purposeful with your content and ensure that your content 
is something that's going to help you. So you will be really using this as a tool. And this is a tool that can carry an awful lot of weight and be very, very helpful to you. If you are a Wilkes student and you're going to be attending today's talk on social media for students, I would love to hear from you either before or after the presentation. Feel free to find me on LinkedIn. You can follow me on Twitter and I'll be sure to follow you back. It's Carla underscore Porter. Or look me up on Facebook. I have an open profile and I'll be more than happy to network with you there. I have an open networker philosophy, which means unless you're a total creep, I'll follow you back. And um, I look forward to that. And I'll be there for you throughout your college career and with tips and information. Uh, and you can find a lot of that on my website, carlaporter.com. So have a great day. Look forward to seeing you later on. And have a fantastic rest of the week. Bye.